when he hooked us up, I'm like, what's up, boy? I said, man, I'm going to jack him. Other co-defendant who went to New York with me, he like, ride with me, period. You know what I'm saying? So mm. he would have one with. But my phone was tapping at the time, so like, man, keep trying to get us to buy the dope. And we like, man, you know, we good right now. We got enough. Chill out. He, mm -hmm. We got to give you better pride. Man, all right. So now I'm like, no, we're going to jack him. Because I already was telling him I'm going to be talking about my man's anyway. I said, man, we're going to jack him. Down there, man, we're going to kill him. Um, I mean, you mentioned prison, man. Uh, as much as you comfortable with sharing, you know, you don't, you've been open about you having a reputation. Once again, I don't want to drag it on and on, but what did you actually go to prison for? Uh, 848 continuing criminal enterprise. I was one of the young ones to be charged with a kingpin status. Well, so how did that happen? I had, you had to have five more workers. Mm -hmm. I had eight people on my case. By me being the target, my, my phone was tapped, and I had other people in my case that said, you won't give me eight for That didn't much fit me. You had to have like 12 million, 10 months, mm -hmm. hundreds of kilos, like big meat sauce with that. Big big me show, okay. You was yeah, locked up with him too, man. Yeah, I'm yeah. saying compound. Yeah. Um to, uh, Rick Ross, Freeway Ricky out of California, he was charged with that. Mm. So they gave me that charge. I'm like, what man, I, these wasn't my workers. I, I have millions of dollars, I ain't have hundreds of kids, all this. But they put it on me because they thought I was gonna come up with some kind of stories to give them for cash money. Mm. They had a hard on for cash money. All in my discovery, they tried to say I invested in Kevin I said, man, I ain't pleading that. So they waived it. They didn't throw it out. They said, we're going to waive it. Mm. So later on, if you want to come and cooperate, you can bring it back up and say, yeah, I did invest in cash money so they could take down their company. Man, I'm fed be playing dirty. Man, that's crazy. So you said continue in. So no, nothing violent. Hey, so let's say they commit murder. Oh. Here's how I got so let's say commit murder. So I tell my code of fit, I say, hey, when they come down, we're going to bring them in your house. We ain't bring him out. I said, man, we're going to time up and do him later. Mm -hmm. He said, no. So they gave me a solicitor because I solicited a question to him. I said, hey, man, I want to bring him in. Can we time him? Can we your help? No. no. Man, before for the people who are not familiar with what you're talking about, the story, you said we was gonna, we, when they come down, we're going we gonna to tie them up. Like, so what's the situation? So you got a plug in a different state. Yeah, and which, which y'all moving? Harold. So um, I had went out, okay. My, one of my co defendants met them because somebody went to jail and they was down there and they, they helped them out and they had, they had the drug, they didn't want to go back to New York with it, so they left it with the guy and they wound up getting to one of my co defendants. Well, he brought it to me because my partner was jumping for the heroin. So at this time, I need some more dope. I said, Yo, man, what's up with people in New York? I said, Man, look, I'm about to go up there. Tell them I'm on my way. He called, he couldn't get in touch, so I just went out there. And he got in touch with him for our contact. I look, man, I'm on my way. You just I'm up and went to New York, yes. New York from New Orleans. Yes. With no contact. You're right. Me and my co defendant. And yes. this is for what? For the buy some drugs from them. <clears throat> Cause see they was already in New Orleans at one time and they left drugs down there. So they left it with one of my co defendants. But you ran out, you got the re up? Right, and I wanted that I wanted that. And I know going to New York is cheaper. So I just went out there and they accepted me. We in a, we in a restaurant, we in the back of the restaurant. One of my co defendants is getting high, so they bring the dope. We arguing about the prices first. So you gonna test the dope up? Right. So he tested. So we on this side of the restaurant and the in the kitchen, we banging the back in the kitchen. I'm all it's three of them, I'm arguing with these people. Now let mind you, I don't have a stick pin. I didn't flew out here. You don't got no gun on you. No, because I flew out. Oh, you flew, you didn't drive. No, I I, I rode the Greyhound bus back with the drugs on it, right? So my co friend over here, he hit the door. He leaked over, right? So the man said, see, I told you, I told you good. My co friend come out the duck. Uh, it's all right, it ain't all that. I said, yeah, that's that good though. He always hating on somebody else's stuff, right? Uh, so um, we go back up front. And as we up front, said, hey, I'm trying to, it's two Spanish girls, and I'm trying to hit one of them. Two Spanish chicks in a yeah, restaurant? Yeah, they nice, man. Yeah, man. man, what you talking about? In New York. Yes. So um, one of them was heavy set, thick, and one was nice. Mm. So he like, don't worry, don't worry about girl, you get that later. So <laughs> he give me to my by myself, he said, You me like you. Him don't like. Because he I didn't test the drugs and I didn't drink, but I had got some orange juice in the cup. Thanks. So he trying to, but I'm like, this is my brother here. 
No matter he, he touching the dope and getting high, this still my bro. I know he gonna rock with me. And who is this? Who are you with? One of my cool friends. No, I'm saying you, I mean he on your case. You don't you don't want to say the name? Or? No, cause he was. Uh, oh, okay, 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 okay. So um, <laughs> so people, some people know who he is. They gonna tell you in the comment. Read the comment. Read all you got. They gonna tell you what I'm talking about. So the dude's still around though. Yeah, he's still around. He's he locked up. No, he home. Yeah, I just saying. Yeah, they kicking it no more. Or no, I'm beefing with him too right now. That ain't hot bees, though, is it? No, I would say it was him. No, I mean, I'm me and him. We internet enemies. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, all right. Um, they gonna tell me in the comments. <laughs> yeah, they gonna tell you. Why? Well, God, I guarantee they're gonna tell you in the comments, bro. They, they never fail. So anyway, um. He trying to put me against him, like, but I, I didn't got my, I didn't got upset because I'm like, this is my bro over here. I know he gonna go to war with me. So I'm like, right, I got him. I'm saying myself him. I said next time, I mean, first chance I get, I'm gonna rob you. So you trying to talk about my brother over here? No, I ain't going for that. So we had worked out a deal, and then we went back to New Orleans. So he called us. What's up, y'all? I said, man. I kept playing. All we talking back and forth. I said, hold on, hold on. So we got an idea. So they try to be sick and mail some more what we talked about in the mail down there to this other guy at the Mail for Me project. Mm -hmm. I don't know him. Mm -hmm. Bryce know him. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. now when he hooked us up, I'm like, what's up, boy? I said, man, I'm going to jack him. Other co defendant who went to New York with me, he like, ride with me, period. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. he would have one with. But my phone was tapping at the time, so man, keep trying to get us to buy the dope. And we like, man, you know, we good right now. We got enough. Mm -hmm. Chill out. He, mm -hmm. We got to give you better product. Man, all right. So now I'm like, no, we're going to jack him. Because I already was thinking about what we talking about with man anyway. I said, man, we're going to jack him. Down there, man, we're going to kill him. So what happens is, if my court trainer would have said, okay, we would have got conspiracy to commit murder. Mm -hmm. But by him saying, no, we ain't using my house, they gave me some tickets. I posed the question to him. So, yeah, they gave me a. That's how I had life in 20. You got life plus 20 years. Yeah. At first. Then when I went back to court, all right, Blabber got his case overturned in 2000. Then I went behind him and got my case overturned in 2002. Yeah. The judge gave me life and gave me a range of 20 years with the life. Yeah. <clears throat> gave me life. Man. I got life twice. When I first got sentenced in 99, they gave me a life sentence. Life in 20 years. Yeah. Fight my case. I go back for re-sentence because my case got overturned in 2002. Mm -hmm. But he re-sentenced me to life again. Damn. Yeah. He could have gave me a number, but he was, nah. Man, that's crazy, man. Mm -hmm. um, what you, so you did that time. You said 23, 23 years and 10, 10 months. 10 months. You yeah. made it up. Man.